Hello. Uh, about a week ago, uh, I uploaded a video to YouTube reviewing Min 12 uh, RC. But before I uploaded the second part of that video, uh, Min the final release was out. So I decided to take a while and make a video of uh, the released version. The first video was about a Mate and Gnome Classic. In this one, we're going to take a look at Gnome. Unfortunately, you might see some flickering on the video, but that is just the artifact of the way I recorded the video, and you will not experience that in your desktop. Mint is one of my favorite uh, distributions, and according to DistroWatch, it's the most popular uh, Linux distribution out there now. What I don't like is the default background. That does not appeal to me at all. One of the distinctive things about GNOME as implemented in Mint 12 is the inclusion of uh, MJC. MJC is basically a sort of uh, extensions for GNOME Shell developed by uh, the Linux Mint development team to provide users with a smoother transition from GNOME 2 to GNOME 3. One, of the, one example of this you will notice is uh, the bottom panel, the GNOME panel which includes uh, the Mint menu, list of programs which are running, and uh, the workstation switcher. Here is uh, Mint Software Manager. Um, frankly, the only thing I like about this is the list of feature softwares. You still cannot install a software directly from the list. You'll have to click on the software and it opens the page for it, then you will click on install. Uh, Mint 12 comes uh, with a new default search engine for Firefox, that's DuckDuckGo. Uh, I like DuckDuckGo because unlike Google, it doesn't uh, track your web history and, and try to bring you search results from sources you have used before. Another thing you are going to notice in Mint 12 is, unlike in Ubuntu, you don't really need to install or add PPA for uh, GNOME Shell extensions, they are already there.